Hi, my name is Bonnie Isaac and my superpower is I sew an embroider. I'm going into my 14th year. Well, as I said, my longest at any place was 15 years and that actually was a sewing factory. Uh, I worked with Calvin Klein. Uh, and then the company closed, shipped everything overseas, and we, I needed to find another job. And my husband was from this area anyway, so we came out here. I really put sewing behind me. Uh, then this COVID hit. And I was getting very, um, I'm kind of an outgoing type of person, and I was getting very tired, staying at home, very, feeling very useless. Uh, just, just, I mean, you can only rearrange your cupboard so many times. You know, and uh, so I was trying to figure out something that I could do that would uh, help somebody or or just help myself, my own mind. Well, uh, school started back up and beforehand we had some meetings and we were talking about masks and things like that that we had to wear. And this was with all the other kitchen managers and this one manager at the high school, she showed us this one. It was a very simple one and she told us what she paid for it. And I thought, have mercy. You know, so I thought, I can do that. You know, it's been a lot of time, but, you know, I can do that. Well, I did one or two of them and, you know, for myself. And then basically, you know, I got this slap across the head and I was told to do more. You know, and so I just had my regular sewing machine, so I started just to do more. And I gave them to a couple of ladies, well, let me pay you. No, you don't. No. No, no, this is not, I, this is not what I, you know, just take them. It makes me feel good that you take them. Well, eventually I went as far as I could go with a simple sewing machine. So uh, for a birthday present, I talked my family into getting me an embroidery machine. And then the fun really started. I feel very special. I feel very special because, you know, at first when I made them, I put them in a lot of staff's uh, mailboxes and I never said a word. I never said who they were coming from or anything. And to watch them walk around with something that I had done was one, you know, really satisfying feeling. But it was another feeling that, it's, it's hard to explain, it was a fulfillment feeling. It, it, it really was. and. Uh, then people would tell me, you know, well, you should really uh, start charging because you know, you're buying this. And, and no, that's not what I was led to do. I was led. And then things just started happening for me. Uh, I made friends that I never had friends before when they started finding out it was me that was doing it. And that right there in itself has been one of the biggest gifts. There's no amount of pay that could equal that gift. I people staff that I've worked with for years and never spoken to, all of a sudden now, uh, we're, we're on first name basis. We talk every chance we get because of a little mask, because of God. Fortunately, everything today, you know, is so computerized. But with that, you have to know computerized. You have to know programs. That's the hard part. You have to have programs that talk to other programs. You know, they all just go online and download it. Example, Mr. Teal, he wanted an ACDC mask. So I was asking him about it and he sent me these pictures from Google. Oh, that's great, you know? But Google doesn't talk to my embroidery machine, you know? So you have to get on different sites uh, you have to learn what language this site is and can you convert it to the language that your machine speaks because there's about 10 or 12 different languages that different machines speak. And if you don't know, you know, so it's really a process. It's a learning process all the way. The machine comes with a few basic programs and that's where I started with the basic and then I wanted to go further. I wanted to, you know, explore different, bigger colors more. Fortunately, I have a son who's an engineer, and so it's like, Jacob, <laughs> you know, 
and he'll come, okay mom, and he will look at me and shake his head and tell me the amount of things that you have done wrong to get to this site, it's amazing your computer hasn't crashed. But yet here you are. I says, yeah, but now I can't get out of it. So it's, it's a lot of hit and miss. According to my husband, too much. Um, I, I, I'm now, I do, well, I'm starting on clothes now. I've done pillows and blankets, all with that machine. Um, some days, as soon as I get home, um, until it's almost time for bed, you know, uh, as a matter of fact, last night my husband had to come and wake me up. I fell asleep in the sewing room. <laughs> so, uh, to make a single mask, it doesn't take me long anymore. You know, it, it just depends on, I made some, did some pillows for my sisters in Canada. They took a, a few weeks. It, it just all depends on how you do it. Like I said, the most important thing is your computerized thing, your little, whatever these things are called, that's how computer savvy I am. These days you have to have it. This one has a touch screen, which is really nice. And so you just kind of tell it what you want it to do. You start with, and there's all different sizes of these hoops depending on what size you want your project to be. And there are all different sizes of these machines. There are machines that have 20 different stitches on them, 20 threads. Could you imagine threading all of that? Basically, you have this backing. This is so the needles will not pull the cloth through into the inside of the machine. And it also helps you center your project. So you put those in it and you make it nice and tight. If it's loose, your picture or whatever you're embroidering is going to be all floppy looking. Okay. Now, like a regular sewing machine, you use bobbins and thread. I carry plenty of bobbins, plenty of thread. So you want to put your bobbin in the bot back in the bottom here. It threads like so. And you just pull that little end off. Put your little cover back on. Now, you want some thread. The bottom bobbin is what, when the needle comes down, it catches the thread. And that's what makes it stay in the cloth. So, we're gonna do, let's see here, let's see here. Something like, how about something like this? And it's just gonna say West Noble Chargers. That looks good. So let's start with Snowball is uh, blue and red. At home, I have a stand that holds like 30 some spools of thread, but not practical for here. So you put your thread on, then you have to thread it. Every step has a diagram, every machine does, of how to do it. Now, what's nice about this machine, they call it an automatic threader, look at that. And then you take your tweezers and you just pull it through. Every sewer, everything has a box like this, times five. Okay, so now we're going to put our cloth into the machine. You have brackets here that coincide with these brackets and you slip them in. The red light tells you that you're not ready to go, that something is wrong. So now you have to figure out what it is. See, now the machine is centering everything for you. Now the light is green, so it's telling you that it's ready to go. And basically, all you do,
Okay, now we're done with the first word and this is where then we would change our, our thread to red and then it would do noble and then we would go to a gray and do charger. And I think at the bottom I would put like a lightning bolt and I would put the lightning bolt in yellow and it would all print out that way. This would be the finished product right here. You can see where it says West Noble Charger and in the bottom we had the lightning bolt. And then you would just take it out of your frame, just opposite of what I did putting it in. And this backing is really cool, it's called tear away. So you just tear it off. Now with the masks, I would have another piece of fabric that I would sew on the back of it so you wouldn't be able to see. But right there is your finished product.